Hi, I'm Naya Kalmels from Mindful Movement, and I believe that movement is medicine. This is the fifth video of our seated exercise series in your chair, and today we're doing a full body workout. So grab a chair and let's begin. Now that you found your chair, we're going to start from the top of the body, work our way down, and we're going to try to make this as quick and efficient as possible just to break up your day. So we're going to start by just tilting the head from side to side a couple times. And then we're going to take the shoulders and roll them back. And then we're going to take our rib cage and move it from side to side. And as you move from side to side, you want to think about grounding down through your feet, grounding down through your sits bones. I just place my hands on my rib cage so I can feel my rib cage moving from one side to the other. You might just have your arms by your sides or hands on your hips. One more time to each side, and then we're gonna go into a side bend, which we did in one of our other videos. So you'll take your hand down by your chair, or you'll reach the opposite way you're side bending. And then come back up and switch to the other side, side bending the other way. One more time, getting a nice opening through the rib cage and coming back to center. We're gonna take our arms out into a T position or alternatively, you can clasp your hands, place them at the base of your skull and draw your head into your hands. As you draw your head into your hands, think about lengthening through the neck and we'll rotate. Coming from center and rotating to the other side. And we'll do one more rotation to each side and come back to center. Now we're gonna grab our band. If you have a weight, you could use a weight. If you don't have weights, you could use a small water bottle. Or you could just do this unweighted. We're gonna start with our left arm and we're going to reach to a lateral arm raise. So we're coming to a 90 degree angle and then coming down to about 45 degrees. And lift and lower. And as you continue here, you're keeping length through the spine drawing lower belly to spine and lifting through the pelvic floor to keep yourself from moving with the weight of the band. So it's just your arm, specifically your deltoid, doing the work. And three more here for three, two, one, and we're going to change the band to the other hand, or if you're using a weight, you'll change your weight to the other hand. You're gonna want a little less tension on your band here. We're going to draw the arm across midline and then up on the diagonal, and back again. Just repeating this motion as you keep your chest and keep your hips straight forward in front of you. We'll do three more here for three and two and last one. Then we'll switch to the other side. Starting with our lateral arm raises, drawing the arm up to shoulder height and back down to roughly 45 degrees. Adjust your band as much as you need to in order to find the right amount of tension for you today. And continuing here, long spine. And five more for five, four, three, two, and one. And switch the band to the other hand. We're gonna start with our palm facing in and reach your elbow on a diagonal and really be mindful of not breaking at the wrist here. So you wanna really think about engaging the muscles in your forearms so that your wrist doesn't break as you go through the movement. We'll do three more for three and two. And last one. All right, we're going to change to doing kind of an assisted squat. So you'll want to think about how you transition from sitting to standing and vice versa. I'm going to change my chair angle around so that you can see me a little bit better. All right, so we're going to practice our transition. We'll take our arms forward, shoulders draw down the back of the rib cage, and on your next exhale, engage your core muscles as you press down on the soles of the feet to reach forward as you come up to your standing position. And then you'll sit back down slowly and with control. And we'll do this two more times, reaching forward as you come up, 
And all we're doing is practicing going from a seated to standing position and standing to seated without having to use our hands. If you want to add more challenge, you'll just take your arms out into a T position. You'd be surprised how much more challenging it is to come to standing and to sit back down. So you choose which works best for you. We're going to add on a couple different variations and you can play with these as you do these on your own. So the first one is we come up only about halfway. We're going to reach sits bones back as we reach our arms out in front of us and then take the arms out into a T and back again. Keep long through the spine, lower belly is drawn the spine. And your gaze is going to be out in front of you, staying long through the back of the neck. And five, four, three, two, one, and slowly sit back down. All right, here's another variation. You're reaching, coming halfway up again, staying long through the spine. And we're going to raise our palms up towards the ceiling and little tiny pulses here. Lifting the arms, hinging from the shoulders, simultaneously lengthening through the spine, drawing lower belly to spine to support the lower back. And five, four, three, two, one, and gently sit back down. I've got one more variation for you. Again, you can play with these on your own. On your exhale, come up to your standing position just halfway. We're going to take our arms back behind us this time, palms facing away. We're working the back of the arms. Continuing here, lifting the belly. 10, 9, 8, 7. Long spine, sits bones drawn back behind you. 4, 3, 2, 1. And gently sit back down again. You can add more challenge to those by slowing down sitting and slowing down standing up. See how much control you have as you play with slowing it all down and add all the different arm variations that you want. Get creative, have fun. Thank you.